Rosie's cow cat, Rosie's cow cat, when you see what she sees. Hi, Nate. What are you up to? I'm just wondering how the moon gets on the farm to me. Fantastic question, Nate. You know, the whole thing is kind of a pipeline, a bit like your straw. Huh? Yeah, but unlike your straw, there are lots and lots of people involved in making it work. Tell me more, Rosie. Milk is kept cold on the farm in huge containers called vats. Then a truck called a tanker picks the milk up and takes it to the factory. Can we believe there are more than 500 tankers transporting the milk to factories all around New Zealand? Whoa, 500 of these? Yeah, only bigger. <laughs> Each day during the milking season, tanker drivers need to pick up the milk from every dairy farm, as well as collect milk samples for testing to make sure it's the best quality milk. Whoa, drivers must be very busy. Well, they share the work. Each tanker usually has three drivers that take turns so they can collect milk day and night. Sounds like a lot of milk going to the factory. Moo, yes. The moose last year was 82 million litres in one day. That's about 33 Olympic-sized swimming pools of milk. What happens to the milk next, Rosie? Clever people at dairy factories turn it into milk powder, cheese, butter and much more. Some of it's sold in New Zealand, and you can eat it, drink it, or cook with it every day. Just like that time we made toasted sandwiches, smoothies and ice cream. That was yum. But most of our dairy products are sent overseas to about 140 different countries. So we also need trucks and trains and boats and planes. But after all that, there's all plenty for my friends and me. Absolutely. This pipeline needs refilling, Rosie. Plenty more where that came from, Nate. <laughs> <laughs>